Hello everybody, welcome back to Evolving Vibes. So for today, what we're actually going to be doing is going into one of my close friend's witchy shops. It's located in Cranston, Rhode Island, and it's called the Dragonfly Apothecary. I'll put down some inf information in the description page below. Now, what we're going to be doing today is just going in and doing a witchy haul video on local shops and what you can actually find and what you can actually really get into at a locally owned witch shop owned by a witch, of course, because you're going to find things in here that you're never, ever going to find at a Hobby Lobby or a Michael's or any big chain things. They are sort of like um, the fast food um, aspect of things when you need something down and dirty real fast. However, this is the spirit and this is the soul of true witchcraft and doing things that actually increase your vibe. So stay tuned and I'll see you on the other side of the camera. So the rain let up and I'm outside the shop now and I'm about to go in. So we're going to be doing a witchy haul and I'm actually going to be a guest reader um, inside of the store for today. Hopefully the background noise from the street isn't too distracting. But I'll see you on the inside. The Dragonfly Apothecary is located at 1348 Plainfield Street, Cranston, Rhode Island. It's owned by Rob and Lisa Russo. Rob is a local artist, and what you're seeing right now is Rob's interpretation of Ganesh, which he actually painted on the side of his building. And again, in person, it's just amazing to see. But let's take a walk inside the store, and let's see what's available to us in the Dragonfly Apothecary. So as I pan around the store, I'm just gonna talk about some of the items that really pop, but you can get a sense of exactly what's available to you. It's a small shop, but it's a giant shop all at the same time. Check out these ritual chalices. They're beautiful, but when you touch them, feel them, they're amazing quality. Same goes for all of the statues that are available to you. Um, this shelf is the, the eclectic shelf, so it's got a little combination of everything on it. Divination tools, incense, um, homemade fragrances, you name it, it's on this shelf. The candle holders are absolutely stunning, and the books are really, really cool to um, peruse through as well. He's got homemade fragrances, as you can see on the right, that he creates at home, as well as standard um, tarot decks and really unique tarot decks you won't find many other places, certainly not at small shops anywhere else. Now, while I was there, I was able to watch Rob do a pendulum demonstration for one of the younger customers that he had. And they were in awe by um, Rob's demonstration, and Rob did a great job explaining things to them. Now, when you come around looking for jewelry, this is a one-stop shop. You can get any type of stone that you want there. You can get manufactured products, but along with that, you can get products that are created by local artists and artisans, and it's just amazing quality. Um, just touching it, you can feel the quality behind it. Now, he's got this combination of old and new combined inside the store, which is awesome to actually see. So if you're looking for older estate jewelry, you're going to find it here because Rob actually goes out flea marketing, going to estate sales, as well as going to various other places just to find the jewelry. Now, what you're seeing here is Rob's artwork. It just pops out at you and the camera doesn't do justice to the artwork itself. All one-of-a-kind pieces, he delves in acrylic art as well as with oil paintings. And check out these st um, staffs that he's put together. They're amazing and they're, they're really high quality. And check out the artwork again, how it pops out at you. They're just stunning. Speaking of colors, check out what he has available for clothing. He's got wraps, he's got pullovers, he's got bags, he's got hats, he's got satchels, he's got it all, and all reasonably priced, and all set up so it's really inviting to touch, to feel, to really make sure that you wanna purchase it before you actually purchase it, which is the magic of a small shop. Now check out these stones, they just pop. And the most cool part is the amount of energy and work Rob went into finding the correct vendor to buy stones from. These stones are all high quality, all really unique, and all resonate with their own energy. And the shelving is set up so it makes it so much easier for you, the customer, to shop for exactly what you want without having to go through aisles and aisles and aisles of mismatched stonework. Now, check out 
the colors that are going to be popping up from these stones. They're just amazing. Look how they resonate in that light. It just makes you want to buy them. I know I had to stop myself from buying them. Now, the jewelry, as I said before, is really amazing. And he's got this collection of old and new merged together. And the more you look, the absolute more you see. Again, more jewelry, more stonework, all unique pieces, all high quality pieces, well worth it. Now, as we peruse a little bit further, we're going to peruse the estate jewelry cabinet where he has a lot of antique jewelry, all high end, all really nice, and all reasonably priced. I can't stress enough to you how Rob really goes out of his way to find jewelry, but along with that, getting it so that it's affordable to anyone and everyone that may want to purchase it. Now, check out these stones. He's got stones for the experienced practitioner as well as the new practitioner. And again, more of the artwork. I can't stress enough how wonderful the artwork actually is, as well as how he sets it up in his store so that anywhere you go, you're finding pieces of artwork as well as other magical items all merged together so it makes it just a magical shopping experience and then as far as scents goes he's got so many different forms of incense as well as really unique incense holders and again more stones for the person that may be looking for a very specific spell work stone as well as herbs tons of different types of herbs available to you and there's rob and there's lisa let's wave hey rob hey lisa they're just really wonderful, friendly people, and it makes the shop feel so inviting. Again, candles that they make themselves, as well as so many other items that are available to you. I'm not going to narrate each and everything that we're seeing, but I am going to narrate on this artwork. Again, it is amazing. It's one of a kind, and I just love the way it's all set up. Now, what I really found cool was that he actually put a... a blackboard together by painting it and he actually has his prices listed proudly beside the artwork $25 $50 $75 for original pieces of artwork that he will actually sign for you himself which he actually did for me on one of the pieces that I bought now this is my reading area for the day and it was really enchanting it's a nice area set up in the storefront but set up so that it's very private and very inviting it's a wonderful space to be able to communicate with the universe as well as to deliver messages for those that are actually asking for readings for that day and again it was really really cool and that's actually my table set up for that day as i was a guest reader now I would be remiss if I didn't point out some of the things that Rob also had inside the shop, which were um, some little enchantments. Now, Rob is a practicing witch. We already talked about that. And so as we pan over to the left, what you're going to see is one of his prosperity spells that's actually working quite well for him. He's got this really wonderful jade plant in the window. And along with that, he's got some pyrite inside of the soil with it, as well as incense for prosperity and i would say that it's actually working really 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 well for him so i do hope you enjoy this visit with rob and with lisa and i look forward to seeing you so, there you started off my day with me yesterday you got to see me go over to the Dra dragonfly apothecary in cranston where i was also a guest um, psychic reader and i did my witchy shopping haul now the long story short of it all is what exactly did I buy? What exactly did I get? And how am I going to use it? So let's talk a little bit about what I bought. So when we're looking at witchy halls, and I talked about going to Michael's, and I talked about going to Hobby Lobby. Those are for in the pinch, I got to get it in the moment type items. But when you're talking about a true witchy haul and things that you're going to actually utilize in your practice, and actually spending that spiritual currency because when you spend money at a local shop that's currency that's going to come back towards you as well tenfold because you really are making a big difference in someone else's realm you're helping support a local business you're helping support a family and it goes so much further than what you'll ever be appreciated for from a michael's or from a hobby lobby so one of the first things i actually got was this lapis lazuli um, this lapis stone 
I can't even um, begin to explain to you how beautiful it is in person. On camera, I'm sure it's not doing it justice, but this stone is actually really wonderful, and I'll be use, utilizing it a lot um, for meditation, for calming, and for some inner peace. So that's one of the things I got at the Dragonfly um, Apothecary. Now, another thing I got is this wonderful cleansing spray. Um, you can see it's a very large bottle. It's actually made by Rob Roussel and Lisa themselves. And this is the actual um, fragrance that it actually is, eucalyptus fir. And let me tell you, it smells amazing and it's absolutely refreshing. It cleanses your space, it cleanses your energy, and it does so immediately. So yet another wonderful thing that I was able to find at the apothecary. But I'm not done yet, right? So another thing that I found, which I absolutely love, you might have seen me wearing it in a recent video, it's actually this pentacle. And this pentacle is all sterling silver, as is the chain, and it, I can't stress enough how beautiful this is too. It's absolutely wonderful, and it's finished both in the back as well as the front. And you can see that it's got some thickness to it too, and it does have some heft. Now, <clears throat> the benefit from getting it with Rob and Lisa is they spend the time to um, talk with you about it and tell you a little bit about where they might have found the item. But along with that, they work with you on the chains. There were literally dozens of chains that um, they tried with me until I actually found the correct length for me. And this piece is absolutely wonderful, and I love it. Now, another piece that I actually got while I was there is this hematite bracelet. This bracelet, as you can see, end to end, is finished and refined really, really nicely. And you can look at that clasp. This has a lot of weight behind it, and it's really, really solid. And it feels wonderful both in your hands as well as when you're wearing it. So I was really happy with that find there. But I wasn't done yet, right? So another piece that I found there that I absolutely adored and I had to have it, um, I'm trying to get it off my wrist now, is this bracelet, this wonderful piece, right here. You can see it's the lion. It's all about that persuasive strength. It's about finding that inner strength to get through situations and that are going through your day. And look at the thickness of that chain. Along with that, look at the quality of the clasps in the very end and on both sides. This piece in itself is quite weighty. It's all solid. Now, when you look at it from the front, you might think, oh, that's just um, glued on there. It's not, never going to last. A lot of people would think that. I know I did. But look at it. It's actually pressed into the metal. This is all one solid piece of metal. So you're not going to find that at a lot of um, places. And if you do find it at another type of place, um, a chain store will say, the amount of money that's going to cost you compared to what I paid for that going to a nice small shop is astronomical. Dare I say it. Now, speaking about messages, another thing I bought, um, which came in a bag that um, Rob and Lisa threw in for me, is this magnificent pendulum. Look at this thing. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got the chakras on it. It's actually got a wonderful clear quartz on it and a clear quartz on the other end. And of course, a clear quartz on the very tip of it so that you can just simply hold it in your fingers. This pendulum really, really jumped out at me and it was like an instant bomb. Now, <clears throat> Rob and Lisa do a lot of different things, as I said um, before in the video. Um, Rob's a witch and he does a lot of spells that he practices for himself and he does a lot with divination and he surrounds himself by really strong psychics. Um, I'm one of three psychics that actually read at his shop. He doesn't allow more than that because he wants one the circle to be small, but two, he wants people that are true to form psychics. So I was lucky enough to be one of the people that he picked. Now. In his shop, he does have tarot cards, and I have tarot cards. However, 
What he does do, which is something that I subscribe to totally, is he looks for really unique and really different tarot cards to work with as well as to supply to people like me who also work with really unique tarot cards. So this is exciting for me. I was able to finally get my hands on this tarot deck. And this is actually called the Transparent Tarot. And this is the second edition. And this tarot is all about, one, being transparent, but two, each one of the symbols makes up its own card. And what you do with these cards when you're doing readings is you overlay them on top of each other so that these symbols merge together and it gives you a much more in-depth, three-dimensional, dare I say, four-dimensional reading. And um, I've been looking for this deck, but I like to touch things before I buy them. Kind of weird, but that's how I am. And so <clears throat> I didn't just want to buy this online like I have with other decks. I wanted to find somebody local that had it where I could actually touch and feel and just get a vibe for it and see if it really vibed my vibe. When I'm doing divination, that's what mo is most important to me. I gotta really feel the packaging and feel if I'm gonna vibe with the deck or not. <clears throat> and I can tell generally just by touching the packaging uh, because of the energy that might be inside. So this deck was an instant draw for me. Actually, I was drawn to it from across the room. And when I started touching it and feeling it, I knew this is what I had to have. And I was glad that I finally waited um, to be able to do that. So guess what? We're going to have another video down the road on the unboxing of this tarot deck and an introduction to all the cards within the deck and how I'm going to be utilizing that in my day. And I can't wait to open this box up. So you can rest assured that right after this video is done, before I even edit to post it online, I'll be filming the box opening for this um, card deck because it's just amazing to me and I cannot wait to see it. So... Those are some of the things that I got at the Dragonfly Apothecary, located right on here. Now go to my description bo um, below, and you'll actually see more information about the Dragonfly Apothecary, as well as um, um, links to their social medias. Now, I'm not done yet. There was one more thing that I bought at the Dragonfly Apothecary that I'm going to show you that's hugely special to me already. And as soon as I saw it, I fell in love with it. And I know you will too. So it's right now hanging right behind me. Um, when you look behind me, you'll see a lot of glowing lights and such. Those are all sticks that I collected from my tree in my yard that I go to a lot. And that's actually a protective spell that I put together for myself. Now behind that, you're going to see a painting that's hanging. That just started hanging not too long ago. And that really just started hanging because of my witchy hall at the Dragonfly Apothecary. That's actually um, made by Rob. Rob's an, a local artist as well. And so he actually created this mural of Hecate in his own interpretation of that. And I'm a, uh, Hecate is one of the deities that I work very closely with. She always has my back and she's a strong protector of me. Therefore, she's right back there in my protection altar overseeing, overlooking, and watching over me and allowing me to do my magical workings and allowing me to utilize her to do my magical workings as well. So what we're going to do now is take a closer look at my protection altar and take a closer look at Hecate. So let's do that. So this is my protective altar, the protection, and it offers me shelter in any storm. And I obviously have my protective amulet right there. And this wonderful painting is actually Hecate. And as you can see, she peers through the branches, just watching over me and protecting me. Um, this painting, there's no camera that's going to do it as much justice as it deserves. It's absolutely amazing. Um, this moon glow back here actually glows in the dark. He used some glow in the dark paint for it. And it just creates such a magical um, feeling throughout the night as you're watching it. And it's watching you. And so I'm just going to back up a little bit so you can get a full sense of how I feel when I'm walking around my room at night in the dark, having this wonderful magical area glowing for me. 
it's absolutely amazing and I love it and um, if you haven't done one of these in your house in your bedroom in your personal space yet I strongly suggest it because again putting magic in your everyday life is so very important and having a little area set up for yourself that is set up for very specifically for um, in this situation protection just reaffirms that the universe has and always will have your back so I'm going to be switching around the camera and I will see you on the other side in just a second it was an incredible experience I always enjoy going to local shops I particularly enjoy going to Rob and Lisa's the dragonfly apothecary because the energy there is just so wonderful and so amazing and the people that come in are just so cool that to talk with um, I did some really strong readings there um, this past Friday and I really enjoyed each reading that I actually oh. did <clears throat> think outside the box and think of some of the things that you can actually get and find to infuse into your day to make your day more magical both at local shops at small shops and at these um, craft fair events that you'll find all summer long so I do hope you enjoyed the video for today I enjoyed making it as you can probably tell I got myself so many wonderful little objects and I'm really super stoked that I was able to do so and I look forward to seeing you in my next video which undoubtedly will be the unboxing of the of transparent tarot so that you can see what it looks like along with me and we can play around with it together for just a little bit so please be sure if you haven't done so already like subscribe leave me that comment let me know what you think about this video let me know what you think in general and let me know if you actually um, do go to craft fairs or if actually you get any vending tables at craft fairs because I do know that I do have some psychics out there along with me and I have some card readers out there so let me know what your experiences have been if you've actually done any fairs and if you're a crafter and I know I've got a craft well uh, for you quite a few crafters out there let me know if you um, go to any of these events and what your experiences have been being at a craft show and being a vendor at a craft show so thanks so much for everything and thanks so much for the subscriptions that I'm actually getting and watch one of these two videos because that's going to again help my channel grow get my channel further up in the algorithm and get more people to discover evolving vibes and to grow our community together so as always, please be sure, be safe, be well, and as always, be blessed.